up everybody, it's country. We're gonna jump on here. Play a little snow runner. This game is it it's hard to like it is more than I ever dreamt it would it would be. It's 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 pretty uh <laughs> It's hard to explain. I mean, it's it's pretty realistic, honestly. It's uh, it's a good game. I recommend. Uh, I recommend it, uh, to anyone that's uh, into you know simulation with trucks. I mean, even small vehicles, you know, pickup trucks, jeeps, things like that. Um, the platform is, is so much more now than what Mudrunner was because you're not just logging, um, you're actually hauling, I mean, all kinds of different stuff and, uh, it's, it's got so much more than it did before. Before all you did was just ride around in the woods and log and that was it. But, uh, and, and they teamed up with the people that actually make mods and the game creators actually, from what I've been told, will welcome it instead of it being a situation where it's like a battle. They want uh, the game to be better. What I'm doing now, I downloaded some mods myself and I'm uh, actually turning them on. Better. They they dumbed this game down because this game's on uh, console also, which obviously PC your restrictions on PC are a whole lot less than what you will deal with on console. So they made it to where this thing would be a whole lot more console friendly, um, which took a lot of the shifting and, and different. You know, aspects of the game out. And this is the one I need right here to load. <laughs> I don't understand. That's my, uh, that's my secret weapon, this truck. It's phenomenal. Let's see what happens in here. Sorry guys, this is going to drag him on a little bit. But they've got so many neat old, you got your Ford 9000 with a Cummins, you got a 4070A Transtar, great. Unfortunately it's a day cab, I thought that was kind of dumb, they could have put the little sleeper on they didn't have big big sleepers so I mean it wasn't much more to have the truck to have a little sleeper on it but pretty <clears throat> I guess particular because this is trucks are kind of my thing it's what I do so give this thing a couple more seconds if it doesn't load we're just gonna roll with it Alright, right. I've already started. I've got a lot of things unlocked. I've been to Russia and Alaska and Michigan. And actually started, you know, playing some in the areas. There's three different main areas with four maps per area and 
the map, each map is four times larger than the map whoop from uh, from Mud Runner. So it me. The you know, like getting through here and driving all it, it takes some time to get all through this whole thing, man. It's it's pretty it's pretty extensive considering okay, your garage is here. And if you need to go anywhere, you know what I mean? It's it's quite a ride. So I'm trying to remember exactly what I was uh oh, we're uh we're chas chasing after that upgrade up there. And let me see where's my Hummer here. Alright. What was my plan? Alright, yep. Yeah. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna cross in this flooded area on this side, man. It is muddy. And I'm gonna tell you, it ain't no joke getting around on this, do this stuff. Let's see, uh, let's run to the garage real quick and see what I've got available here. This is 62 grand, I want that. I also want that. I don't want that. And that. <laughs> I like the old cab overs. And then they've got some stuff over here, man. It's like Russian, and it's pretty neat. I won't say that it's tough looking, some tough looking trucks. But you can't spawn them unless you're in Russia. Let's see what we can do here. That's seven grand. I've got nothing basically unlocked. This is crazy. See, that's. They've got this modded, and it's got, I mean, it's huge. Uh, retain. I'm just going to go ahead and sell this thing for 34 grand. Alright, sell. Now I've got 41. Let me see what's on here for 41 grand here. Man, if we had two or four dollars or a couple more dollars, we could have got that. Let's see. We're going to need some type of truck. Oh shit, it's in the truck storage, alright. Hey. When I first started driving, this is what I drove for a long time. It was a concrete truck, but it was a, this exact truck, yellow. Or it was all white with uh, yellow black frame with the, the barrel and everything was yellow. Now, see with the mods. We got a C15 CAD, C18. 
I think that thing helps out with Hold on, I wanna get one Let me see what it does front side.
no wonder. Stiffen up the front end a little bit. Didn't have the front ends and it was plunging. Let's 
see what you make. Come on, guys. 
Gilman and Bear. That's the name of this track, Lion. Even though David was the little old fellow with a rod, they killed him. As we know from the Bible. gear pulling that hill. And it just picked up third gear again. I mean, this thing's got some power. I'm, I'm extremely impressed by this truck. Extremely. Big shout out to the uh, from Channel Seven, just off this, the back of first gear. I mean, you know, oh, we got one up on the edge of the rock with the tires. Big shout out to these modders, man. They they really know how to take the physics of these trucks, man, and make them. We say more realistic because at the end of the day, in a situation like this, if with the right kind of tires and the gear ratio the right driver if you came up in there and you was snatching gears you could get up something like this if you had the power just the way this truck's doing and i mean maybe not a hundred percent but there's something up here coming up let's check it out real quick go king of the hill to this part of the map yet, so while I'm here, there's not a whole lot of reason to keep coming up here. And to be honest with you, I have still not a damn clue what this stupid thing I'm carrying, this seismic vibration thing is. I don't know if that's a helping or not, to be honest with you. It says it measures like if there's holes or something like that in the ground, but what does it do for the game? I mean, them things are bouncing. They're on like hydraulics and springs back there. But I have no idea. Not a clue. Let's see what this says. Let's break on the roof. Show the cask. King of the Hill. This freaking game has like so many like you've got all your main like all right here's your contracts husky forwarding dyson diesel steel river township you know you're all for the town you're uh for this company husky forwarding okay here's the load list the stuff that they've got for that winter stores like and all of them are an array of different things same thing with these people boom boom now these were done we still got to pull that steel down there to the river which I'm going to need a big truck. I need to put a fifth wheel either on the back of this or I'm going to get that cab over four when we earn enough money but uh then you've got contests okay these th these things are like timed missions right here if you can do it within 10 minutes and 30 seconds it's worth thirty eight hundred dollars and 220 experience 
keeping up with this darn river is driving us crazy. We need advance warning so we can be ready for a spill. There's a couple of meteorology sensors nearby, real tough to reach. You think you can make it? Cockpit, you required garage. Truck change. Oh, um, avoid having to go to the garage, change trucks, and recover in your truck. Alright, we don't want us to that right now. Meteorology data. Keep up with this darn river. Okay. Okay. Same thing. 220. Alright. Local entertainment. The workers in a nearby factory have a little game. There are multiple barrels hidden in some hard to reach places and you have to knock them down. So far, no one has managed all of them. You think you can do it? Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo. Scout is recommended. No, I got something better than a scout. I got me a Hummer. Curtain side trailer. Looks like the first wave of relief workers that rolled up here were a bunch of idiots. They managed to lose a whole trailer. Go find it and bring it back. Leave. A curtain side trailer. It's stuck. We need a off-road truck for that. Fixed beams, concrete. I mean, it's just things like that. All shit that you could have to do realistic. I'm going to get up here and get to this tag home. Um, which we call it that damn trailer that's up here where is it now oh that missing old trailer missing tank we fit in there we fit in there I hope y'all like it, you that are watching it, I, I do, you know, hopefully I can uh, edit some of the unnecessary stuff, you know, back when I uh, was building the truck, and just some of the unneeded stuff, but we don't want to turn this down. 13 little shit splitting on our side. That's the only thing when you got these these damn trucks like this. They're big and they they're up there and they get through some stuff, but boy, they don't do a whole lot of it is it's like it's like driving a damn concrete truck on top of the shit. You could have seen some of the stuff I put that little pay star in, and she had nothing but she didn't even have she all she had was a regular like power pipe. It didn't even have a the ass end. The newer trucks, the whole ass end would lock up and all the way you could turn. That thing, she would spend one cent on the front passenger side, maybe one on the driver in the back or the front. You never know what she was gonna get out of it. Here we go. There's some lights on. That's why I put that faux light bar up there. Here we go. Third gear.
those things can be a lifesaver. I've taken highway trucks on some of these roads, but there's enough trees, it's a wooded road. You can get in and out just due to the fact of being able to flip that wrench from all the points and, and use it. It makes it a pain in the ass. I think I keep going straight. Yeah. Well, that thing sucks. That's a badass truck. Trust me, I am not an international fan. Uh, zero. Finger. Jump. Now, these old ones, like that 4070A that's based on 5000, they were still trucks. Interiors are metal, everything's not all broken up inside of them. New shit's trash. Third gear, fourth gear, fourth.
facing the back of it, and the tongue is facing back behind me. I just don't know how I done it, but it happened. I turn around and get hooked to it.
with people. this out hopefully uh, you like what you see and uh, 
this is the first one, but um, to start to hopefully a long line of uh, entertainment that people enjoy. Uh, anybody who uh, checks this out, I appreciate your time and the fact that uh, you gave me the chance to just see what you think. And uh, let us know in the comments what you thought. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, once again, this is a uh, big country. And always remember, no matter what, keep on trying to truck it up. And we're out of here. Y'all have a good evening.